Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning to everyone who, again, walked in with me then with less than a minute before 8.15. My shipment finally came in. Bless up. I'm Lathan. And I'm the man, Dallas. Stay tuned for news, sports, and everything else you need to know. But as usual, the weather forecast from Isaac. Thanks guys, I really hope the weather continues to get warmer because two weeks into December and I'm sick of it. The high for today is a not cold but not warm 48, with the low being a 41. However, it is currently 44 but feels like a 42. It is currently raining and will be for the rest of the day. That's it for the weather, now back to Lathan and Dallas for more news. For lunch today on lines one and two, snack wrap. Line three is soup and salad bar with broccoli soup. Line four is miscellaneous leftovers and four by six pizza. And line five is closed. There are no birthdays today, so let's go straight to sports with Nick. Thanks, Lathan. A, a congratulations goes out to the wrestling team as they are able to win the Wrestling County Championship. The Dogs defeated their first opponent, Clinton Prairie, by a score of 40, 45 to 30 to move on to the championship round against Rossville. The final matchup against Rossville was even easier than the first matchup against Prairie, as they defeated the Hornets by a score of 52 to 24. The Hot Dogs were able to be the more aggressive and physical team in both matchups, giving the other teams all that they could handle. The wrestling team will finish the first half of the season at Twin Lakes' 16-team invite this Saturday. The swim and dive team squared off against the Tigers from Lebanon last night. The Dogs fought hard, but ultimately both the girls' and boys' teams fell. The girls were defeated by a score of 59 to 123 and the boys lost by a score of 38 to 126. The event winners were Patience Dean in the 50-yard freestyle, Evan Jordan in the 50 and 100-yard freestyle, and finally Carly Besler in the one-meter dive. In other sports action from last night, the varsity girls basketball team faced county rival Clinton Central. Kaya Keen hit a game time three with 15 seconds left, and with a quick stop on defense and some clutch free throws by Emily Michael, the dogs were able to get the win over Clinton Central. Emily Michael had a game high 14 points. The girls' next game is tomorrow as they will be traveling to McConaughey. That wraps it up for sports. Now to Dallas. The green bracelets for Rodolfo will be sold at the bookstore for $2 each until December 19th. Be sure to purchase one because it is not only stylish, it goes to support Rodolfo's family. The shoe and food drive have both been extended until next Tuesday the 18th. Also on the 18th is the Decca Christmas party. Just a reminder. Yesterday, we announced the Teacher of the Month for October, and now we're going to announce the October Student of the Month, Christian Arund. Christian is humble, observant, and an outstanding thinker. He will always listen before speaking, finding it more important to soak in information than to jump to conclusions. However, he is also able to make strong arguments supported with evidence and deep analysis when the time calls for it. Congratulations to the Dudley family community for their back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back wins in the pumpkin decorating contest. Following their big win in the Halloween contest, they came up with big wins with their Thanksgiving pumpkin turkey and their Christmas pumpkin Santa Claus. They will receive their free B-dubs lunch and ice cream next week courtesy of Mr. Seymour. And on that note, we'll wrap up. Be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with Frank for Happenings. This has been Lathan. And I'm the Kingslayer Dallas. Please remember this quote from Guardians of the Galaxy. We are grouped.